So welcome to this uh, walk around tour of our next vehicle that's in stock here on Orkney. Thanks to Chris Ramsey of Plugged In Adventures who collected this for me and put us on the boat in Aberdeen. It's the Nissan Leaf for centre. This is how we have collected it, complete with flies and everything. So I've not yet been polished or prepared, but we have four superb Michelin tyres on all four wheels and there is plenty of tread on all of the tyres. So we've not yet cleaned it. Um, what makes this a special leaf is that as well as the three pin plug granny cable we also have a type 2 which means this is a 6.6 .6 onboard charger Nissan Leaf excuse me um, as you can see it's very really clean we have the odd scuff to an alloy wheel but nothing really to be concerned about at all I'm going to show you in the back no dents to the roof or anything um, nice Nissan for floor mats in all four footwells, three rear belts, no rips, no tears, no undue odours, electric windows all round and that beeping is just telling me the car is running, which it is. So as you can see there are no, you'll find no surprises in this car, it really is a very very nice Nissan Leaf. So inside the Nissan Leaf we have uh, the locking wheel lock key, service book, V5, and just to show you it's from uh, Edinburgh College, uh, 30th of April 2014, and it's just had its uh, first MOT which it passed, and you'll be down as the second keeper, so everything is in order. The service book is here as well, and although not necessary with an electric car, this has got a full Nissan service history. There we go, so the first one there, 9,000 miles on the 8th of May 15. The second was 18,000 miles on the 22nd of the 4th, 16. And the last was a minor service on the 20th of April this year at 29,100 miles. Three service stamps from Alex F. Noble Nissan dealers. Great to see. All the manuals are here. Everything you need to know about the Nissan Leaf came with the car when it was new. Locking windows, as I said before. And we have two um, leave, leaves, keys as well. So what can I tell you about the car? It's absolutely superb. There's the uh, mileage there, 29,000. And if I just scroll around on this button, see various functions. And there is the two charge times. So it's a 6.6 .6 kilowatt and also where necessary a 3.3 it'll accept a 3.3 charge um, everything drives as it should lots of options on the Nissan Leaf we have the CD player there simplicity itself to engage reverse for instance across and up the reversing camera comes on so that is your rear white bumper press P for park it goes back to that screen lots to tell you uh, one of the main benefits of these uh, is the charging timer. So if you have a cheap rate throughout the night, you can tell the car when to start drawing electricity from the grid. Climate control timer too is superb in as much that you can remotely start the car to heat itself up or cool itself down um, from your smartphone or from your computer. But if you leave for work every day, say 8 o'clock, you can tell the car Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, whatever day of the week, you can tell the car what time you're going to leave and 30 minutes before the car will start to heat itself up or cool itself down to a temperature that you've preset. Absolutely fantastic. On here we have uh, cruise control, speed limiter, an eco button which I can explain what that does, Bluetooth phone, voice activation, uh, automatic headlights, automatic wipers, electric windows all round, uh, power folding mirrors. The Nissan Leaf is really very very well equipped. So welcome to the test drive. So with my foot on the brake I press the power button the car is now running. So with my foot on the brake I pull the gear lever across and down towards me and that engages D for drive. 
and squeeze the throttle and away we go. Now the benefit of the Nissan Leaf is of course it's very very quiet but it's just a pleasure to drive. No gear changes, no matching the speed with the clutch and the gearing and it's just simplicity itself. You find yourself really relaxing when you drive an electric car. Now, what are the main benefits? Well, if you're in the south, congestion charge exempt, of course, so there's a huge saving. Um, if you have a ecotricity electric account for your home, then all of the motorway service stations in the UK offer uh, rapid chargers that will charge this car in around 20 minutes. So I'm about to go south tomorrow to bring another leaf back. I will do around 12 rapid charges from Leicestershire up to basically John O'Groats. So long journeys are possible. That's 623 miles, I believe. And I should be doing it for my 29th time. Um, yes, I'm a little bit mad. <laughs> but it's great with some planning you can continue to prove the point that you can drive long distances in an electric car. Servicing wise here on Orkney, CS Oman, Conrad and Stromness will service all electric vehicles. What's involved in a service I hear you cry? Well we have to keep the pollen filter nice which makes the car smell nice. Don't have to do that. Um, check the brakes, check the tyres, give you some screen wash and basically that is it. Every other year should change the brake fluid which you should do on every car anyway and that really is all that's involved in the service a very very cheap running cost car's still running just going to turn it round nice turning circuit as well for such a family sized car um, we have the speed at the top distance to empty percentage lots of things I can tell you um, about the Nissan Leaf. Nothing to tax and if you've got your own wind turbine which a lot of people here on Orkney have or if you're down south solar PV panels then you can charge this car up from the sun or from the wind. Now we're very enthusiastic about a product called Zappi from a company called My Energy and you can farm on the internet. Basically a, a Zappi is a unique home charger that basically talks to your renewables and charges your car appropriately. So it will fluctuate the charge that your car's taking depending on how much energy you're producing. So when the sun come, goes out, comes in uh, and, and the cloud covers the sun, then obviously you want to draw less current into the car, not take anything off the grid. So you really can literally charge this from the sun or from the wind great product not paid to say this but zappy go to my energy spelt with an i at the end instead of a y for yankee so my energy or call, give drop me an email i can send you a link to uh, the new electric car charger that is going to take the ev world by storm i'm absolutely convinced of it it's such a great idea and it's uh, now going into production so this concludes the test drive over now, let this car behind me leave me. There we are, we're still on. It's just the, the clicking of the indicator you can hear. So, if you have any questions, then feel free to uh, call me and I'll just take you now for a final walk around this Nissan. So, welcome back from the uh, test drive. Now, I won't have this for long. We also have another Nissan Leaf coming up, a 13 plate. But uh, this is the 6.6 .6 onboard charger. So if you need an electric car that charges fairly rapidly, quickly, from your home charger, then maybe this is the leaf for you. It's here on Orkney. More than happy to demonstrate it to you. And if you're really serious, then I'm quite happy to lend it to you for a few days so you can see the benefits of driving an electric car. So thanks for watching. I'll look forward to talking to you soon.